Hello again folks, this is Scott again out here in Queensbury. Uh, we're back at the Sandbox. Uh, we're doing a review on my latest uh, collection that I just purchased on Amazon. This is the Helena uh, 14 scale uh, RC uh, bucket loader. Uh, like I say, you got your shovel on the back and you got your bucket on the front. I'm doing a fast, quick review on this thing. Uh, three out of five stars, I recommend maybe a two. Uh, I wouldn't recommend buying this thing, whatever. It's very impressive out of the box. I mean, it's pretty heavy made. I mean, pretty uh, heavy duty. It's pretty large in uh, size. That's why I purchased it, you know what I mean? Because the, the size was overwhelming. It was actually a 30 inches from front to back, whatever. Uh, it's got good sound effects. The two front buttons, whatever, don't work. And that would be nice if they work. That way the bucket will go up and down. So these two buttons right here, uh, right to left, they do not work. It's just there for looks. Uh, and that's and like I say, you got this uh, shovel behind here, which does not work. It's not hooked to anything. There's no electronics or nothing. It's just you got to push it by hand. And the thing is, to leave this thing on, it keeps falling down. So they actually, to have this on, to be able to use it with this thing on it, even if you're doing it for a look purpose thing, whatever, it keeps falling down. It won't even stay up. So to have this on there is actually useless. You're better off just keeping it off if you want to, to use this thing because. It, it can't stand up on its own. Even if you fold it up the best way you can, it just keeps wanna keeps wanna keep coming down. It just won't stay up. So it's pretty much useless. So having that there is ridiculous. So that alone uh, is terrible. Uh, but the bucket, like most uh, loaders, this is like the third loader that I have actually purchased. The loader they don't go all the way up. I mean, it comes up. But then it's supposed to actually, the, the, the bucket actually supposed to tip back so you can load the truck or do whatever. It doesn't go back. It just stays flat. So when you go up, the sand goes out as you go up and you can't keep the dirt in the bucket. So a loader is supposed to work differently. If you've ever gone to the landfill and you're actually, they use a loader or whatever like that, to load your truck with gravel or stone or whatnot, whatever. This bucket actually, when it goes up, is supposed to tilt back. So this way it stays in the bucket. But when you scoop it and you go up, the sand goes out. It doesn't stay in the bucket to be able to use it. So it's actually, uh, the functionality of this thing for actually to play in your sandbox is not all that great. So I would not recommend this one. This one's going back to Amazon just because, uh, you know, the, there was no real reviews on this particular model. It was like, with the tax and everything, it was like a $65 purchase, which, uh, yeah, I don't recommend buying it. Other than that, I mean, it looks great. If you want to put it on a shelf to look at it, it worked that way. But as far as having the buttons not work, having the shovel not work, it's just there for looks. You can't do nothing with it. And I'll demonstrate and show you what's going on here. And there's the box right there. It's like a 14 scale, 30 inch uh, bucket loader. See, like there, Helena. Uh, 1579 okay so let me see and it's not full of drive either I mean it seems to be pretty snappy so we're there now that you touch these buttons let's see the buttons for the up and down are right here been nice if it was on the front but they put them on the top so you got to put your fingers over the top of your up at your uh, back and forth buttons to be able to use it so we'll go down we'll go up see how it clicks down and now we'll go down. That way you can see the functionality of it. Go all the way to the ground. Okay, so now we'll go forward. Go into the dirt. Now we're going to go up. And you'll see what happens the way the bucket goes. See, as you're going up, all the sand's going out. So you really can't go high enough to be able to get it to load a truck. It just, it doesn't work that way. Let's try it again, even with no sand. See, the functionality is, see, as it starts to go up, it's turning to dump it versus going back. This bucket's supposed to do the opposite. It's supposed to tilt back, not it's going the wrong direction. And you can only put this uh, uh, loader on one way, too. I thought maybe you could turn it around, whatever. And this should pull back. So they say, they say this is a seven-function uh, bucket excavator loader. Uh, but it's I, I wouldn't recommend this. Um, it's got good sound effects. It looks good out of the box, being 30 inches. But being this don't work on there, and the bucket doesn't go back, whatever. And like I say, it seems to be fairly fast. All right, oh, drop the controller here. 
But overall, this is Scott again on One Man's Review on this uh, Helena uh, 14 scale bucket loader. Uh, have a good day. Subscribe to my channel. There'll be more upcoming reviews on other things that I purchase. Uh, this is Scotty Sandsbox. Have a good day. Bye.